Hello, Susamash. Hi, uh, do you guys offer um, gender affirming care for youth? We offer um, support or resources to find gender affirming care. We're not a clinic. Um, and so we do our best to, you know, help parents navigate a little. What, what state are you in? I, I live in Tennessee. Oh, yes, far. <laughs> um, so for you, you, your child would have to go um, out of state, correct? Well, I'm actually the child. I'm 13. Oh, hi. <laughs> your voice sounded like a bird's voice. Have you talked to your parents about going out of state to get care? Uh, well, my parents are very transphobic um, and are not, um, they're very right, right, right leaning and they do not um, support my transition or even me identifying, um, you know, with he, him pronouns. I know it doesn't probably help to hear this, but, you know, once you're 18, you'll be able to do whatever you want. Sometimes kids decide by the time they're 16-ish to get emancipated, as they say, to, say, get a little job and be on their own, which probably sounds terrible and hard, but it could happen, and it does for some. And when they're on their own and they're emancipated, they can make their own decisions about what medical treatment they want. I have a question. You know, how do you deal with transphobic parents? You know, of course, we do hear about parents that will get crazy and get like, you know what I mean, like abusive and then kick them out or put them on the street or <laughs> abandon them or um, beat them up or you know what I mean. But there are parents, you'd be surprised. I mean, there are parents who say absolutely no, no way, blah, blah, this is dumb, this is, you know, unhealthy. And it depends on how right wing leaning they are, it depends on how religious they are, that kind of thing. Yeah, I just, I mean, maybe a lot in a long time, but right now they're very far right. Um, right, uh, like Trumpsters, you mean? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah very. And you know how a lot of people say, and, and, and there's been studies about it, and some of these people are really brainwashed, you know, it's like brainwashing techniques, you know, they, they just will repeat anything that's said, and it, it's a sad state of affairs. Do you think your parents expect you to go to college one day? Definitely. They definitely want me to go to college. I mean, because, I mean, if you could be brave and get yourself to think about a college, it's not, you know, where you know the rights are. They don't have to know that's why you're going. Just like, you know, you can be like, I'm so, I want to go to Boston so bad. There's so many colleges there. You know, you can make a reasons that you want to be in these other places. Because, right, a lot of people leave their state. And... You know, you, you'll find, you're, I'm sure you've heard the expression chosen family. You'll find your chosen family, you know, that one day that will be like friends that accept you become more like your family, you know? I'm just starting, like I've been identifying with he, him pronouns for a while, um, but I'm 13. So I, you know, I, like you said, I have like five years till I can, be on my own and make my own decisions but i would like to start off with a binder so are there okay. any resources that you guys have for me to um get a binder well we do have binders so i could definitely send you some i just would need to know where to send it because sometimes if you're really young a parent sees a box come in there like you know what the heck is this why are you getting a box you know like what you order and then they kind of take it away when they find out what it is but some people mail it to a friend's house, but then are their parents going to be good about it? Or a relative's house? Um, but if you could think of a way to, that you would be able to get it, um, you know, we would definitely send you some. 